Hello everyone, Cambev Run here, and welcome to another MTG Arena video. This one is a mono green devotion deck. Now when you see a lot of um, mono green, you do think more gem raiser, into questing beast, into into a massive monster that steps on you here. <laughs> but this is this is very much almost the same thing, but slightly different. So I went rather than I do a mono green devotion so I could include Nylia Keen Eyed. And Renata called to the hunt, but a lot of it still remains the same. It's just there's no Elder Gargaroth and no Gem Razor. So I had to make some sacrifices, so I chose to sacrifice them. So we got four Chain Web Arachnid and four Swarm Shambler to start off. Swarm Shambler can be great because you can boost it if you, if you don't have any other plays to make. And when a creature is targeted with a spell, when a creature with a 1 1 counter on it becomes target of a spell, you create a 1 1 green insect. Green insect. Um. Then you've got four chain web arachnia. So it's got has reach. It deals damage to uh, flying flying creatures when it enters the battlefield. I mean I keep this in the deck simply to deal with stuff like Murphy Wind Robber and any other one more flies. I mean Yeah, to, to deal with any other awkward threats, but it is mostly for the wind robbers, but it is good because it can also be escaped with with three plus one plus one counters on it. So if Nessie and Hornbeetle and Scavenging uses two drops, Scavenging is of course a great card. You exile any card from a, a graveyard, yours or your opponents. And if it's a creature card, you gain one life and it gets plus one, plus one scavenging use. The Nessie and Hornbeetle, so long as you can control the 4-4, four, four, um, <coughs> you, excuse me, you uh, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Nessie and Hornbeetle. You have Satessum, Satessum Petitioner, which I actually find quite useful because if you build up a lot of green devotion, when Satessum Petitioner enters the battlefield, you gain life equal to your devotion to green. It can help you out in a tight spot to drop one when you have, say, five or six. Uh, green Devotion already on the board. You can gain a bit of life. Your Vile Lord of Gambreg obviously enters the battle four plus one counters. Whenever another green creature enters the battlefield and you control, put, put a plus one plus one counter on Yorvo. Then if that creature is greater than Yorvo, you add put another plus one plus one. So here's where we get a bit different. So we've got two Nylia Keen Eyed. Uh, really great spell when it's on the board. So obviously it makes your creature spells cost one less to cast. And then... If you reveal the top card of your library, if it's a creature, you can put it into my hand. Otherwise, I can put it onto the graveyard. Um, or you can put it onto the top of your library. So, two copies of Garak Unleashed. So, up to one target creature gains plus three, plus three, plus three, and gains trap until the end of the turn. Create a 3-3 three, three green beast token, which, or, which can help provide blockers. And then, his ultimate is to provide an emblem, where you can search your library for creature card, put onto the battlefield. So... If you can get the emblem, effectively every turn you're able to find creatures and put them onto the board. Four questing beasts, because obviously that's pretty much a monogreen staple at this point. It's such a good value card. Vision, death, does hate. Quest B can't block clouds with two cards less. Combat damage would be... So you can't prevent combat damage and destroys planeswalkers. Renata call to the hunt is also pretty good. So it's the power is equal to devotion to green. And once she's on the battlefield, any, any other, each other creature you enters with plus one, plus one. Which also works in account of when you have the great henge and Renata... You're effectively playing creatures, and you're gaining plus two tokens on those creatures. And then, of course, the Great Hand, you play two life, costs less for each powered creature. And finally, just it's a one-off. The one one-off I have in the deck is Cogler the Titan Ape. When it drops into the battlefield, it fights target creature. Target creature I don't control. Whenever it attacks, you can destroy target artifact or enchantment defending player control. So it's really good for dealing with any enchantments that might be on the field. So you just sort of attack and it destroys something. Um, there is a neat little cycle I've managed to work out with with Cogler, which I might be able to show you. I've been able to do it once or twice. So if you play a Stess and Petitioner, you gain the life. If you have the mana, you activate Cogler's ability. Return target human to the to the hand. Gain Indestructible on Cogler, and then replay the Petitioner, so you're gaining double the life. So the idea behind this deck, it's missing stuff like fight spells. It doesn't have gem rays for destroying artifacts. It doesn't have kind of some of the more staples of Mono Green. But the idea is that it builds quite a heavy, heavy board presence, nonetheless. And then with the addition of Devotion, it provides stuff like life gain, being able to put plus one, plus one counters, having it indestructible on the board and getting your creatures to cost one less. So I've tested out a bit. It does work well. We'll take another play QC, see how it goes. It goes really well, put it into ranked. So let's get into the games. Okay, this is an okay hand I can build up into your vote. So I just need to get some land out of it and play, so I can play Garak. So I'll drop this first. Drop Chain Web Arachnia. Chain Web Arachnia. So the point of this deck is that it kind of works like standard Mono Green, but has some extra stuff in it with, to do with Devotion. So hopefully it will go well. He 
scoozy. He's got two swamps to start off with. Oh, they got the one the traditional. Yeah, of course. Let's see if he can get rid of this. If we build up to Cogler, that'd be great. Fair enough. There we go. God damn it. Damn straight. I gotta admit, the one thing that is a lack of fight spells is really difficult to deal with death dodge. That I can't admit. Probably a really bad idea, but I need to get my trying off the board. Explodes Cogler. All right, I get a massive hit in with your vote. Fucking Maya Triton. Sigh. Always the thing with all this bloody removal and shit. Horn Beetle. Alright. So I'll hold back and block with the Chain Web Arachne, then hopefully go in for the hit. Where's my graveyard? So when did that get in there? I'm sort of like aware of how weird it is to have um, <laughs> a card with it, it escape in a deck with something like, where's that Liliana? I want to make sure he can't get it back. There we go. I'm, I'm aware that like, it is weird to have a card with like Chain Web or Acne, <laughs> an escape card and then have scavenging, scavenging ooze at the same time, especially if I'm going to eat my own graveyard. It's not in my hand. Oh, wait, wait, what? What? No, oh, I didn't know I could do... Oh, yeah, you can choose a... Yeah. Or a card from their graveyard.
Well. Yep, and he scoops. Because he's not getting out of that. So that was quite fun for a first game. You can just build up power as it goes along. It's just really annoying that I had to basically burn off my best card. Just to get rid of a death touch creature. Okay, that's actually a pretty good curve for the second game. So we can just go swarm shamble into a Nessian horn beetle into Yorvo. So put down a swarm. Get my horn beetle down, bop with the bug. I can't fungus beat, oh. So it's a gruel deck. Yep, instantly remove. Because you know what it does. It's a big problem with gruels, they'll hold it up and they'll just wait for you to remove. Yeah, play some, and then they'll choose what they want to remove. Ooh, Garrick's hard, but you don't see that anymore. You used to see that all the time when M21 first came out. I can take that hit. Yeah, that's fine. That might not be. That certainly isn't. Yeah, he's gonna eat his graveyard as well. I think he might just have a bit more power than I can handle on this one. It's going to be annoying.
Now I'm going to have to use Yorva to block here whether I like it or not. Yep, and here comes Embercleave. Good game. Yeah, so that's frustrating, that. I tried to play it a little bit coy, but I think they bas they basically just ran a few more options. Destroying the fucking nesting hornby really fucking killed it. Anyway, on to the next game. Alright, game number three. Let's see what kind of hand we get. I think that lost one. I probably should have blocked more as well, but whatever. Right, we're on the play, but that's a decent hand. So at least has to, hopefully I can build it. Uh, take a giddy over off the top or something stronger. Keep seven. I can play that against my life. Um. Uh. I think I'm going to get Storm's Wrath here. But then I can just play Scavenging Ooze and just... Ooh, nice. Okay. Nice. Pretty nice. We'll say it. Uh, nah. Right, now can I kill this guy before he activates something that basically blows my head off? Crawling Barons. I'm fully expecting some shit like a massive fucking spell that just kills me, hit me for 24. Not enough to kill me. Nice try. Nice try. Mad respect for the effort. I, li I, li I like that deck, actually. That was quite clever. That was... That was actually quite clever. To be able to just build up, cast vol Volcan- and then hit the Volcanic Ease of tw 21. Except the problem is, I gained life off Stess and Petitioner, so I was safe. So there you go, that's what helps. Uh, that's not bad. Not particularly great, but not bad. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I did try about three times to record one more game, but all three games I got mana screwed right from the get-go. And it just wasn't a pleasant experience. So I didn't get to do a lot with, say, like, Cogler or Nylea Keen-Eyed. But you have seen some of the deck strengths is that um, it can, you know, it boosts cre creatures quite quickly. It doesn't have any fight spells, which I think is the main drawback of the deck. Because if your opponent can get a lot of fight, a lot of blockers out, you kind of get screwed over unless you have Garrick on the field. But, I mean, Garrick is quite a good kind of self. There was another... The last game that I played against the guy from the last game, I managed to get Garrick on the field and overwhelm him. But like I said, the recording came out badly. So unfortunately, I couldn't get to use it. But um, I think it is a good deck, but it does probably need fight spells. It'll probably take out two Garrick Unleashed, but in Primal Might. 
maybe take out Shane Webber back near putting Ram through. But I think there's as far as you can go before it comes just another mono green stomp deck. And I was trying to do something a little bit different, a little bit more fun. So, but do let me know what you think. Um, I will not be streaming tonight. Monday is the only night I don't stream. So I'll be streaming tomorrow. I'll be doing it through Google Live rather than Twitch. I want to try out that. And then I should have another video up tomorrow as well. I didn't bring you one yesterday because I think I'm going to try to make sure that Sunday I don't put up videos and Monday I don't stream. I will try and bring you more content throughout the week. If you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. Thank you for watching. Camber out. That makes it better that I at least get a one drop. I think I've already played this guy. Yeah, I've already... I think I played this guy, I recorded it earlier, but it didn't capture the recording properly. So we'll go again against him. Alright. Stop. Thank you. You've been a great help. Yeah, it should be obvious, actually. Oh, look, conveniently another Swarm Shambler. Um... That's a big hit. I think this guy might have run off more options now, so I think he's basically... Yep, he's conceded. That's pretty quick. I think he played the Doomful Toll thinking he'd get more on the board and then didn't draw it. That's quite unfortunate. Anyway, on to the next game.